Shahi is now with us. Uh, Kritika, go ahead. Hi, Ekta. Now, remember, Wipro had done a buyback of about 40 million shares. That was 1.62% of their overall capital, which was in April 2016. That was roughly around 2,500 crore rupees, if I'm correct. I understand that another round of buyback is likely, and this one could be uh, higher. It could go up to almost... Uh, uh, 3,000 to 4,000 crore rupees. We haven't been able to confirm the amount, but what we do understand is that they are in the process of uh, putting forth a buyback proposal to the board. Now, it's not just going to be a one-time buyback proposal that they will uh, put towards the board. They will also uh, take a detailed capital re return policy for shareholders before the board. And that, as you were pointing out, Ekta, will essentially, over the next three years, ensure that Wipro ends up using at least 25 to 30 percent of its cash reserves uh, as shareholder returns over a three-year period of time. Remember, um, this is kind of similar uh, to what uh, Cognizant had done. Cognizant had, in fact, uh, uh, earmarked 75 percent of their cash reserves uh, over a period of uh, three years, uh, till 2018, 2019, if I'm correct, for shareholder returns. So there's going to be de detailed policy. See, the reason and why is TCL, Infosys, uh, Wipro and possibly even ACL Tech looking at buybacks? Investors have been asking for shareholder returns. Investors have been asking given the fact that growth has moderated for some IT companies. They are seeking clarity, more buyback, be it special dividend. So that is perhaps the reason why all IT companies are joining in. We did reach out to Wipro for a comment. What they say is that we have an articulated payout policy. We announced an interim dividend of 2 rupees per share in January. The board will evaluate our approach towards payouts on an ongoing basis. We do not have any additional comments at this point in time. Okay. All right, Kritika. Thanks very much for that. So we